going on everybody's here and welcome to starbase i have been wanting to play this game for quite a while uh yeah so it's actually here it's actually in early access so i'll have a link down below if you guys want to check it out now i'm gonna hit enter universe however i imagine there's gonna be some tutorials here because this is um i don't want to say it's similar to dual universe it's not i mean there's building there's shipbuilding, uh resource crafting gathering stuff like that but I feel like there's some tutorials that I'm going to need to run it through in order to understand how, how we're going to play this. But we're going to hit enter, enter universe. Character name must be the song. Okay, so it's going to be my standard go to. Uh, wait. May not can name contain numbers. <gasps> what? Can I do can I do Z1 like that? Will that work? Okay, that'll work. <laughs> um, okay, so there are starting stations, obviously so essentially like a server you know like different servers different things different stuff so uh let's go with origin one. Oh wait we can't go to origin one we have to go to one of these uh let's go down the list let's see what's how's origin four? Oh darn okay four looks a little rough okay origin 21 that sounds good confirm selection <laughs> Ooh! oh my gosh i'm so excited about this you have no idea you have absolutely no idea who so we're robots obviously uh objectives go to the demolition job site so oh are the tutorials built into like the little world area okay hold on a second let's go check this out okay move around wasd jetpack by holding space oh that's cool Okay, so, oh my gosh, I love this. So we're robots in space. So obviously like we don't need to be inside. Like that's not a thing that we have to worry about, right? Exactly, we don't have to be inside because we're robots. We don't need oxygen and stuff like that. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love like the, I love all the, like, the animations and stuff. Buy a spaceship, the galaxy is big. This is amazing. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. So if you're going to get in this game, you want to play, if you want a chance, like, I don't know if there's like, if there's like, you know, playing with people or if there's like, um, I know on like dual universe, um, I don't want to compare it too much to that. Like very loosely there's like, you know, factions and guilds and stuff. So, uh, I guess make sure you're on the, the same, the same server. Okay. Follow the arrow to the demolition job site. Okay. So we're going to go into here and then go through here. Oh, so yeah, it's just gonna let us do the things. Get the buzz saw. F, cut the ship into smaller pieces. Oh, well, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> demolish the pincer, demolish the uh, empire spatha. Is this, so wait, can I just cut this thing in half? Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. Why is this so much fun? Oh, oh, it's going. It's going. There goes the whole ship. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, demolish the pincer. So these are all like broken. So, okay. This game is it's it's voxel and vertex based building. So I'm I not I'm not sure. Um, I think we're gonna get into it, but I think you build with blocks like this, and like these are selectable blocks. However, I think where the vertex comes in is like the damage and stuff. So like you can see that those that bigger block could be little tiny blocks. I don't know. Let me get this demolished. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna cut it straight in half because this is a blast. Oh, there goes that half. Bye. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love it so much. All right, demolition should be done. That was that was a good time. That was a good time. So there's two options. There's destroy and then cut target loose. Uh, but I just destroyed everything. <laughs> Find the job, the mining job site. I didn't even try what these were. Like we had like whatever that is and th whatever that is. What is this? So I never even found what this was. Oh, <gasps> it was a laser. I don't know what these are. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the mining job site. Let's take a quick peek at that. Ooh. Can I jump? 
like, do I have to follow the ways? No. I don't have to follow the ways. I could have my own personal catwalk. <laughs> personal catwalk. What? No, 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 I don't want to die. Too young to die. Okay. Whew, we're fine. All right, collection area. Get the pickaxe. F, where's the pickaxe? Okay, here's the pickaxe. Connect to the resource bridge. Are these, oh, these? Okay, mine the asteroids. Oh, I like how this breaks up. That's pretty cool. So is that like a is that like a tether? Use the pickaxe to break asteroids. Use that to break the asteroid. And small pieces use this to crush the pieces. Toggle headlamp with N. Crush the inner material into collectible nuggets. The remaining parts of the asteroid shell are automatically collected by the collector. So I need to collect these. I need to make these into smaller pieces. Or do I need to bash these? Oh, I need to break. I need to crush these into collectible nugget size. Okay. Oh, neato. Asteroids will not be spawned if... Oh, if I'm in there. Crush the inner material to collect the... Okay, cool. So I got to do 10 asteroids. Holy moly, that's a lot of asteroids. All right, we are good to go. Oh, look at that. Materials collected. Oh, we got some bank stuff. New labor reward available. 10 rewards remaining. Uh, rewards added to inventory. I. Oh. Look at that. Oh, so there was a cutting tool, a buzz saw, a bolt tool, my mining backpack, a pickaxe. What is this? A bolt tool magazine. Okay. Oh, I like the inventory. Click wire, click uh start new asteroid. Okay, cool. So we are good now. We need to head over to I need to what detether from that? Perfect. Oh, this is super cool. I'm liking this already. And we're just, we're just doing the tutorials. We're just doing the tutorials that I already, I'm already enjoying this. Now, from what I've seen and from what I believe, now I could be wrong, take everything in with a, with, with, you know, a grain of salt for me. Is I believe what you can do, uh, like you can go out, you mine asteroids, you can build a star base, obviously. And then um, I think you can like create uh, vehicles and like you can actually sell like vehicle blueprints and stuff like that or vehicles here and, and like all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. This area just, this all just, just looks so cool. Okay, what is this? Go to the repair job site. Okay, so we're gonna do a little repair here. Uh, pick up the building tool with F. Basics of repairing, okay. Connect to the resource bridge. So the resource bridge, my guess is these are probably containers. And then this is allowing us to pull items from these containers is my guess. View blueprints with the universal tool you use a repair kit on broken parts I don't, okay you can you view your progress with you broken plates and devices the blueprint displays details about the ship broken parts can be highlighted with universal tool toggle highlighting wait what how do i, how do I toggle highlighting Oh, these are highlighted. The blue. Oh. Okay. I see now. So anything in... It's kind of confusing because some of the stuff is actually blue. <laughs> um, but like, okay, like this. This is obviously broken. Uh, well, let's, let's see what else we got here. Do we? What else do we have that's broken? Are you broken? Are you broken? Oh, holy moly. Awesome. That was easy enough. Okay. Go to the ship terminal. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, cool. That, that one was that was pretty easy. Turn off the U. All right. I like that. Moving on. Repair is easy. Spawning a ship. Ooh. We're gonna spawn a ship now i don't know if you get a starter ship 
or not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not positive. Landing and takeoff this way. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You know, I gotta say, I really like the colors. It almost gives you like a um, like a cyberpunky kind of feel. Like it's very, you know, you got your blues and yellows and pinks and stuff. It's very bright, uh, and it's it's really cool. It's really neat. Not like you know, it's not like all dark and dingy like you would expect from I don't know, a space station. Uh, labor module. I guess this one. Spawn the labor module ship. Uh, spawn. Okay. Press despawn to despawn your ship. The ship will automatically be, be despawned in 509 seconds unless you leave the area. Use a jetpack by holding space to get to your ship. Am I supposed to despawn it? Take flight. Get into the pilot seat. <gasps> oh. It's happening. <gasps> I'm in the pilot seat. Okay, leaving the platform. Leave the platform safely by using the smaller thrusters by pressing up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Move the ship vertically with up and down or by pulling the lever with F. What lever? Oh. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. The fact that you can actually interact like that that way too is pretty cool. Because I bet you. What? That's roll. Okay. Got it. Okay, I don't like um accelerate with shift. Control your speed while flying with shift and control is there um oh oh, oh lag whoa okay pitch the ship up and down with w and s Okay. Yaw the ship with Q and E. Roll with A and D. Okay, easy enough. You know, I like that these controls aren't super, like, super uh, cruise control. Toggle cruise control by pressing the cruise control button, F. The cruise mode allows the ship to maintain a constant velocity. So if I hit if I hit shift and get moving a little bit and then F I think we're in cruise mode I don't know they have to get going faster oh I have to press F on the cruise control on the dashboard cruise wait how do I know if cruise is so we have generator so that means it's on cruise okay customizing binds edit and save custom bind sets in the bind with v current bind set automatic battery backwards forwards okay ships cannot be damaged near stations safe zone Flying deep into this asteroid belt can be dangerous. Connect your backpack to the ship resource port when mining. Wait, so am I supposed to go over there? Find minerals. Discover asteroids in the asteroid belt. Okay. Um. I guess we're going this way. I mean. I don't know how fast we go. But like let's do it so i'm actually kind of curious like um so in um some games you can actually like get out of the seat while your ship is flying i don't know if this game is like that or if you have other people in your ship but then again i don't know if it's going to be one of those type of games where we're necessarily going to need to you know what i mean um do we have a speed is there is there i don't see a 
I don't see a speed. Um, I'm also scared because I feel like we're going into this blue stuff. What does that do? I don't know what this one does or what that one does. Is there a way to go faster? I don't. I don't feel like I'm going super fast here. I mean, I guess we are cruising quite a bit. Oh, there's Origin 20. Origin 19. I wonder if you can actually get to those, though. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to press buttons here. What did that do? I don't know what that did. <laughs> I don't know what these buttons do. Um... Uh, what, watch one of these be the ejecto <laughs> I'm like, I don't want that one. Not the ejecto <laughs> Okay, let's just get over here, I guess, and mine these asteroids. I mean, we're in the starter ship, right? We should be fine. We're not that far away either, so... We'll be, we'll be good. Oh, there's like electrical storms over there. I'm actually thinking that I might... Uh, I might find a joystick to, to ship flying. Because I think I could probably do this with one... Uh, with a single joystick, you know? And then just go from keyboard to joystick when I'm flying. I think I might do that. Not right now, of course. That's going to be some testing that's going to require like off-camera stuff, but I'm curious. That could be fun. So I'm a little scared because there's a lot. There's like a lot of asteroids and floating pieces around here. <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to hit one and like wreck myself. Um, I'm also kind of curious. I'm going to say that there's probably dampers on already, and I don't know if that's like by default. So essentially what happens, like if I hit cruise control, turn that off, if I'm automatically going to slow down, so I'm curious because I'm curious like how how um, space sim it is versus because uh, I like I like a balance between like sim and arcade. Oh, hello. OK. So I imagine we're going to stop moving here pretty quick. Yeah. OK. Uh, leave your pilot seat and mine in the belt by interacting with the seat F. Make sure your ship is stationary when exiting the seat to avoid it being stranded. All right, so let's go find, uh, let's go get next to an asteroid, shall we? Maybe, I, mean, I guess that one, maybe? Let's see, let's pop on over here real quick. Too much. Too much. Oh gosh, where was that asteroid? Oh, it's right here. Okay, do I have... I have small dampers to go up and down. Do I have a way to like... I just want to, I just want to kind of like... There we go. There we go. Light, light thrusts. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, connect your backpack to your ship's resource bridge with F. Okay. Your backpack will transfer. Oh, this is so cool. Tell me this is not super cool. Uh, this is the wrong tool. <laughs> I need, uh, I need this. Oh my gosh. Now, I can collect the stone and stuff. I don't know if I need to. But you know what? Let's just collect everything right now. We're so new into the game. Let's collect it all. Backpack of resources uh, to the collected materials into the ship's cargo. Backpack must be connected to the ship's resource port. View collected mat material with I. So, storage. Station storage not available at current location. Connected containers. Okay. So, here's my backpack. Here's a connected container. Got it. And then what was the, uh, not you, N for the light? Yeah. Like this stuff's not even really worth anything. I don't think. Oh, look how cool this is though. This is super cool. Okay. I don't really, I don't really want anything else from here. Okay. So can I hit F on that? And then get into here. Fill the ship's storage crates. Okay, well, let's not fill it with that. Let's go, um... Let's go find another asteroid somewhere. There's one right there. 
I like how it's a little foggy out here. So that way you can't like see other players like from like super far away. All right, here we go. So let's hop out of here. Hook onto that bad boy. And let's go ahead and crush whatever this is. Compound of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, here, let's let's break some of this out of here so we can we can access our ores. Uh, how's our inventory too? Okay, our inventory is looking okay. All right, I'm just gonna grab the rest of this rock so we can fill our fill our inventories. We can head back and kind of see what's going on here. All right, ship storage is full. So, in that time, we filled. I'm guessing these are crates. I'm guessing these are crates. Does it say what it is? I don't know. It looks like it says crates. Um, okay, we're showing the origin station. Uh, so we're heading back to origin. I like that you can see the other origin stations. It's really kind of cool. All right, origin 21. We're heading home. I kind of wish there was a throttle. Like to see like what is our speed like what is my am i at max speed right now i feel like i probably am but i mean i wouldn't know so it definitely looks like you could fly to any of these other origin stations 19 20 i'm on origin 21 there's origin 22 i can see it from here that's really cool okay so <laughs> coming up coming up shortly the the worst part of any space game <gasps> landing on a space station i want to see how they managed to uh to do this see you would think landing pads might be over here over here i you know what also i really also like the fact that the space station is like multi-angled because it's space you could have stuff at this angle or this angle or this angle it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like straight up and down you know um okay i don't know where i'm landing here Entering the area, fantastic. Where does one land this thing? Also, I don't know if I'm on the top or the bottom of it. I think I might be... Am I on the bottom? No. Oh, L, landing pad? Okay. Um, Upgrading your ship, collect materials in the belt to upgrade your ship, storage. Store items in your station storage. Storage is always available. Crafting materials. Um, Volcarium ore and Bastium ore. I didn't get Bastium ore. Um, how do I... Okay, so... If I wanted to land somewhere... how do, we, we need to go over landing here. Um... Let's see here. I guess we're gonna land um, on this one. Okay, I think I'm in position to land. Okay, I'm about to hit go through this box here. I feel like I'm pretty, pretty good here. All right, we're down. That wasn't too bad. Wait a second. How come I feel like there was landing gear that I did not extend? Okay, hold on. Actually, you know what? Question. What happens if I... The ship will automatically despawn unless you leave the area. If... What if I get out right here? Nothing. Oh, you know what? My ship was never on the ground to start with, was it? It was always flying. Okay. Collect materials in the belt to upgrade your ship. Store your items in the station storage. I storage is always available at the station. Oh, you know what? Did I really? I probably didn't even have to land. 
I could have probably got in here. I could have got in my seat, probably hit I, and station storage. So I could have probably put a uh, ship. No, equipment, CV. Special company, ships, crafting stations, equipment. Um, automatically collecting. Oh, I'm not connected to the containers. So I need to connect, hit I, and then bring stuff over here. Mm-hmm. And then there's my station storage right there. So now I have to go back out and basically do the same thing until we get Bastium ore. And then that's going to allow us to upgrade our ship. Oh, I like this. I like this. <laughs> this is super cool. Okay, uh, so I guess we have to go out and find some Bastion ore. Man, I'd really like to... Um, I'd really like to get some uh, more... Um, you know, they also should give you information on how to refill your ship, too. Not gonna lie. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go out and get some more ore, and then... Oh, hello. Yeah, this is just a, a super basic design kind of ship here, huh? You got thrusters on it. Okay. All right. Well, let's go get some more stuff. But yeah, I'd like to see how we refuel. I want to see some upgrades. I want to see that stuff. So let me go see if we can find some Bastium ore. So I'm actually kind of curious too if uh, I'm wondering if we're going to get upgrades or if there's like components to like a, a scanner that would, you know, kind of like show you what resources are what. Oh, look, there's a ship right there. That's so cool. So this is an MMO, obviously. People are like obviously playing online stuff. So. Um, and I don't really know like where the whole like uh, base building comes in. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. This is this is so much fun. I'm enjoying this. But yeah, a scanner that would be like, you know, send out a ping is like, boop, and they would show you like, oh, this resource is so you source or something like that. Or even just a generic like, you know, this this resource is X distance away or I don't know. But I am super excited about this. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just head up here and see if we can grab one of these. And hopefully it's a bas Bastion or... So I'm guessing we don't collect the rock. <laughs> the rock is probably worthless. All right, I'm going to hop off here. We're going to connect up. Let's see what we got. I also don't know how far away I can go. What are you? Let's see, let's break this out of here. Uh, what are you? Nog Nogarite crystal? Okay, so that's not what we're looking for either. I'm gonna go ahead and break this all up. Now, I don't know how these respawn. Because, like, so... This is an MMO game, right? Are these... Do these asteroids respawn after they've been cracked and broken? Or how does that work? Because is it... Or are they, are they finite? Is there only gonna be so many asteroids out there? I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Actually, can I bind to this and then hop in? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. All right, what do we got here? What is this stuff? That is chromidium. Agentite, that, ice. Okay, so we're still missing. Let's not have our batch to more. I don't know how much this stuff is worth. Armor value, structural durability, density, corrosion resistance, weight. Heavy metal with high melting point used widely as heat shielding material and machinery as armor. Uh, using explosives. Okay. There's a lot of this stuff, which is why I'm kind of curious, because, like, this is a huge amount of this. I don't know how much it's worth. Is this worth money? Like, can we sell this? Also, what is the currency here? I don't even know. And do I have any of it? <laughs> So that's all I have. Um, I dropped some rock. Oh, these are like little prepackaged deals. He goes, do I want to head back? How far away is Origin Twenty One? Where is Origin Twenty One? Should be like right behind me somewhere. Oh, right there. Yeah, let's head back, unload, and we'll, uh... I think we're gonna have to figure out refueling, too. 
all right so we are in the station now and i'm guessing that yes so you actually don't have to even get on the station to drop your stuff off into the station storage you can just go ahead and swap it all into here but my question oh is this the money right here okay so my question is we need to fuel up here um because my fuel chamber is less than half and i'd like to figure this out so we're gonna do this right now we're gonna figure this out right now together now i think i am gonna have to go back towards a landing pad in order to fuel up i would i would guess that landing pads are your place for for fueling you know to me that makes sense oh look at somebody else is trying to land here too well land right next to you hopefully you don't mind <laughs> it's like what's up we're both doing the same thing it's so funny that we're both we're both landing here okay i'm hoping that i'm far enough in to where i'm not gonna hit those holes oh yeah like a glove like a glove okay we're gonna get within the blue box because i'm gonna say the blue box represents the area of which you can connect to something so i did see somebody in chat and they said that you needed to connect to your ship and then you needed to connect to the fuel hub which i'm not exactly sure what that is to be honest unless there's a thing on the ground here what is this thing that's my ship can I walk up these things no hmm okay so I think there's a refueling platform but I'm trying to find it okay so like I can see design your own ship the galaxy's big bias spaceship stores open credits if i was a refueling platform what would i look like what are these a1 a2 a3s hmm i don't know what these are oh refill right there these ones refill got it okay all right cool okay so we're gonna go in here we're gonna refill uh looks like we have a, a magical blue box that we're supposed to park in so we'll go ahead and uh and do that pop out of here should we turn the generator off yeah that'll help i don't know okay so refill oh and then right here Okay, so we're connected. Refill propellant power. Refill and recharge station. Propellant and power. I'm I guess propellant? Is there am I supposed to select an amount? Uh propellant max? 249 credits. How much do I have? I only have 85. <laughs> I can't. I can't even refill. Uh, I hit buy all. What did that give me? Um, did that do anything? Connected. Oh, you know what? Maybe it gave me as much as I can get. 85.56 that. I mean, it looks like, it looks like I'm good. It looks like it filled up what it could. I don't know. Let's go see. No, fuel chamber. See, fuel chamber, propellant and fuel chamber. I don't need propellant. I need fuel. Like that, like that to me is refill. I need refuel. Take off. We're going to, we're going to find this. What about this green stuff? I wonder what that green stuff is. Let's go, let's go check out the green area. 
It almost looks like a taxi kind of service. See, here's another refill area, but I th I think it's still the same thing. Unless I'm supposed to use propellant as, like, my fuel source. Come on, what does this say? This looks a little bit different. No, propellant power. Hmm. <gasps> oh, no, my ship's automatically going to despawn in, like, 15 seconds. Actually, you know what? What happens if it despawns? Like, what happens if I let it despawn and respawn? Will it give me, will it give me fuel back? <laughs> it might. It might. Hold on. Let's let's actually try this out. I doubt it, but let's see. Okay, so I got some things figured out here. Propellant and electricity are driving factors so essentially here let me let me get in the seat here this fuel chamber fuel is not a liquid fuel it's like a fuel rod so this is what powers the generator when your generator is running it charges your batteries now in order to fly you need battery power and propellant so obviously like you know the propellant is the fuel this is like your ignition now when you're just chilling i recommend turning the generator off but you can if you go back here, so the <laughs> I was playing around with this for a little while. This right here is our fuel rod. That's so that's depleting. And this is like the generator. But we actually have some extras back in here. So we can actually pull these fuel rods out of here and put them in here. Now, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do unless there's a way to do it that I don't know yet. So uh yeah, but yes, we're learning. We are learning. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Oh, can I put stuff on my hotbar? Like, if can I put this on the hotbar here? That'd be great. Uh, put all these tools on the hotbar, really. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this going. Um, I'm still looking for Bastion more. <laughs> ba Bastion. Bastion? Or? All right, what are you? Come on, Bastion! All oh, right. Bastion, yes! Okay, good. And we got a bunch of it. So let's grab all of this. And uh, we can go do some upgrades. All right, looks good. Uh, is my inventory full? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Cool. Let's head out of here. Um, yeah. So that's how that's going now. Um, I <laughs> the only reason I know this this was like an accident is I pressed E to do something, uh, and it accidentally pulled my core out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't actually know how to do this. I actually pulled this out of here. I've managed to get it back in, and then I had to, I bolted it on with the bolt gun, which I don't think is required because it wasn't bolted to start with. So I don't know if there's like an easy way just like press E to like, you know, place it into a, a storage slot or something. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, you know what? Let's mess with it right now. Let's figure it out. We're in space here. So I need the bolt gun. I need this guy. And I want to pull these these bolts out of here like that okay so now let's go to nothing so i pressed e and it pulls it right on out of here what happens if i hit s okay so if i just leave that there and i grab this guy um is is there a way for this to attach in here So like, how does, oh, see that didn't, okay. All right, it, it just easily attaches. You just kind of have to get it like in the right spot. Um, it does, it just, it just clicks right in there. And then you hit, uh, it needs to be like rotated. I want you to stay in there. It's like it's it's because it's like it's sideways or something. I don't know how to like rotate on its axis. Oh, there we go. Okay, now will it go in here? It won't go in here. Is it because it's like half depleted? 
There it goes. Okay, okay, we got it. Okay, so it's a little finicky. It is a little finicky. Also, please keep in mind this game is an alpha. Like, it is a very early access type game. But, oh my gosh, am I, am I enjoying it so far? So, we got that swapped out. Okay, so it's a little bit easier than what I have thought. You don't need to bolt it in. That's fantastic. I'm super, I'm super happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Let's turn the generator on. Let's, uh, we gotta, we gotta wait for the generation rate to turn up. You gotta get those generators nice and warmed up, ready to go. And then let's go ahead and turn around. Let's head back. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Super exciting. Super exciting. All right. So we are back. Let's go ahead and throw all of this into here. Actually, I can probably just double click it in there. Perfect. And then let's see if I hop out of my ship. Will it despawn from here? Um, I was kind of hoping it would. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so that way we can just recall it in if we need it. We also need to make sure we turn the generator off too. Uh, just to be safe, because I think fly to easy build hangar. Okay. Easy build all. Okay. How am I supposed to get in there? Okay. Uh, this is might be a little sketchy. Holy goodness. Okay, we're fine. Actually, wow, that was that was almost a perfect maneuver right there. Exit the seat to enter easy build mode. All right. Everything's still loading in here. Uh, can I... Let's see. Generator. Turn that bad boy off. Don't need that. Uh, crafting. Locate a crafting bench. I'm guessing I guess that's a crafting bench right down there. Awesome. But that is actually going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. This is Starbase. I'll have a link down below. And like I said, it's gone. Wait, is this mine? Uh, I don't know if this is mine or not. <laughs> they all look the same. I can tell. Yep. I'm always going to be able to tell because I have one partially used fuel rod right there. Uh, but yes, if you want to check it out, make sure uh, just use the link down below. It's just it's just Steam. It's nothing. It's nothing special. But I am on um, Orion or, or Origin Twenty One. Origin Twenty One. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited. I'm like this is super cool to me, and I'm really excited about it. But yes, thanks so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.